Welcome to another makemorenoise.org screencast. As you can see, I've got a website open here, which is phonologic.net. Uh, they've got some free EXS sampler instruments for Logic, and I'm going to show you how to install third-party instruments. So I've downloaded one of their instruments already, uh, Ontology Mellotron Female Choir, which I got from the bottom of the list here. I always like Mellotron sounds. So don't need Safari anymore. I'm just going to quit that now. I've shown you what page it came from and open this folder. Now you can see in this folder you've got a .exs file, a file that's ending in .exs. Now that is the actual file which controls the sampler. It tells it what notes to play and on what keys. And then in this folder you've got the audio files, the .afs, which actually make up the instrument itself. Installing a third-party .exs instrument is as simple as opening that folder taking the .exs and putting it in the right place. The actual sample files, the audio itself, can live anywhere on your system. So what I'm going to do is drag this folder down to my home folder and hold it over it till it opens. Then the same with library, then application support, then logic, and then sampler instruments, and just let it go. Now if we open our sampler instruments file, you can see we've got here in our list Ontology Mellotron Femchoir.exs. Now, if we load up a logic session, I've got logic open here already. We'll just create a new blank session. Create a software instrument track. Load up a stereo EXS sampler. And click and hold to get our list. Now, you can see it doesn't appear in the list because I already had logic open after I installed it. But we can solve that by just pressing refresh menu. You can see it working away there. It's finished working. And then in our list, we've got Ontology Mellotron Fem Choir, which we're going to load. And it plays. Now, to demonstrate the concept I was talking about, about things needing to be in the right place, I'm going to take the actual audio samples. I'm going to move them onto this external hard drive I've got sitting on my desktop and I'm going to trash the original folder. Now if I go back to Logic, I'm just going to select another instrument quickly. Let that load up. And go back to our original instrument, even though these AFs are now in a different folder from the last time it loaded, it'll find them. And that's how easy it is to put third-party EXS samples into Logic Pro. Thanks for watching.